Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Nigeria Reviews. I'm your boy Ugo. Today we have a 2023 Toyota Highlander, and this is the XSE um, version. We're gonna go to the interior of this vehicle, the exterior, and see what is powering this thing. This is a brand new um, Toyota Highlander. As you can see, it kind of looks when you see it, you still know that it's a Highlander. So what we're going to see today is if you're in the market for a three-row SUV. Of course, you know, this is one of the kings that are still, you know, out there today. This is one of the go-to for everybody else. Um, this um, Toyota is tried and true. Uh, well, one, what, what we want to know today is, is this still comparable to, you know, other competition in the market? Like if you're on the market for um, a brand new H family HUV like this, should you consider this or should you be looking at other places? Please welcome to the channel if you're new here. Consider liking and subscribing and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when we upload videos like this. Starting from the exterior of this vehicle, the first thing you notice is the huge front um, face here. So this is what Toyota has done in here. They have given this vehicle a huge grill. This is the new corporate grill that started, I believe it was uh, 20, 2019 or thereabout. But um, when you see this, you still know that it ties to the other vehicles. You, we had a 2022 Toyota um, Camry on the channel. And when you see the grill, see the front, it looks basically sim similar. This is like a Camry that has been that's you know been blown up, but it's gonna look identical to what the other ones have. So coming down here, what you will notice is that in the front you have this Toyota emblem that doubles out as the um, as the sensor. So this is the um, forward collision sensor that is um, that Toyota has down on there, and then you come down to the corporate Toyota um, headlights. So you have your incandescent um, turn signals there, and you have a daytime running light on here, but um, it's not on right now. So you have your HID um, bulb, which is pretty bright. And you coming down here, you see the um, LED um, fog lights. And these front lips that Toyota has going on here for like aerodynamics or whatever that is, but it looks very nice. So this looks like a corporate, it's a corporate Toyota, um, and here you have this uh, coverage right here that has just little, you know, air gaps in between. So, I mean, I think I'll be, I believe it's pretty functional. It's nice. So you come down to the side, and Toyota has painted this. This is the SSE version, like I mentioned earlier. So they give you the black um, alloy wheels. So this is running on. I believe these are. Uh, 20 inch um yeah these are running on 20 inch uh, alloy wheels so the tire size are 235 55 out 20. so this looks pretty nice i believe that um the um this is probably the biggest um rims that you will get in this highlander i don't think that they give you a 21 inches but at least for the 2023 version so this looks nice it's um the dark frame so it's easier to clean uh so yeah and then coming down to the side you notice the, the you know, sheer side of this thing. Don't forget that if you don't think that this Highlander is big enough, there's a Grand Highlander that came up for 2023. So that gives you a bigger um, third row seating. But this is a regular Highlander. It's a, quite a decent size for a mid-size SUV. You have the Sequoia. Um, if the Grand Highlander is not big enough, I believe the Grand Highlander is actually a little bit bigger than the Sequoia on the interior spacing. But I think this is nice. Um, come down here and 
you see the the color that this Toyota uh, Toyota has given this, then it is a uh, this nice um, gray color. Um, it is nice. It's easier to clean. It hides down the dirt pretty um, nicely. So let's go all the way to the back here. So when we are back here, one thing you notice that they also have given you like incandescent tongue signal for the you know, for the rear, and you have this nice curvature. So there are so many curves in this vehicle, which makes it look nice. It's not bland. I wouldn't say this thing looks bland because it looks. So it actually put in some effort into designing this thing. So the um the rear lights are pretty nice as well. You have your um you know backup like LEDs right there, and this right here is uh, it's quite nice. This coverage right here kind of reminds me of um it reminds me of the Lexus ROS. I think that's what it is, but it looks nice. So coming down here, you have your um reflectors back there, and the same um thing they have used in the front you see it in the back as well it gives you like this nice it's not a really a diffuser but the rear bumper kind of looks nice it's not bland you have your dual exhaust on the side like i said this is a xsd um, version and it's all wheel drive of course so um the next thing we're gonna do let's actually since we're already back here let's um look at the trunk and see what size it is so with the trunk open um you see that this is quite a decent size trunk for you know a three-row suv a mid-size three-row suv so with this right here this gives you 16 cubic um, feet and with the third row seat down you have 48 cubic feet and then if you want more space you can put all the seat um even the um second row seat down and then that gives you about um 84 cubic feet so it's quite a decent size trunk and i think it should be enough to like haul whatever you want to haul in this thing and as you can see i have for for the uh, main trunk size um is big enough for you know for airport cargo i believe this has a under um storage as well yes it does have under storage which is also nice and i think toyota gives you um they give you a spare tire no actually this does not have a spare tire i don't think it does but you know it's quite it's a nice decent space for this um for this very so next we're gonna go on the inside uh before that we're gonna go on the hood under the hood and see what's powering this thing so with the um hood open you see this nice clean small engine that toyota has fit in this thing so this right here is a 2.4 liter four cylinder uh engine and this is uh this is turbocharged of course as you can see right there and it is pushing out 265 horsepower and this is capable of towing about um 5000 pounds so that is not uh, bad actually and this is a uh, an eight speed automatic um transmission which is not bad at all. So this vehicle weighs about 4,000 pounds, um, about 4,221 pounds to be exact. And uh, Toyota gives you the nice warranty of uh, three years, that is 6,000 basic miles, or uh, five years, 60,000 powertrain. So this is a seven seater or an eight seater configuration, depending on you know what you want. But I think this is it's quite nice. Um, it's not the most powerful in the segment, but you know, uh, when I was driving this thing coming here, it actually has some nice uh, pickup on it. Like I said, um, 265 horsepower is not, it's not too bad. But that's what this is. It's not a race car. It's not uh, just a simple trouble. It actually gives you nice um, range. So this is probably one of the best uh, range you're going to get in this vehicle. Like I was saying, this is actually the um, gas range on this is decent so this 2.4 liter you have and um, toyota has managed to push out 29 miles in this 22 miles in the city and about 29 highway so it's not it's not terrible other ones like the palisade gives you about 18 19 miles uh in the city and think about 26 or so on the highway don't quote me on that but um i think this is a little bit bigger but it also has a smaller engine 
that is turbocharged. So this has some good things going for it. There's also a hybrid version of this vehicle that you know that is out, and that gives you better gas mileage. All right, so we're going to go on the inside of this vehicle and see what Toyota has given you on here. I don't think you'll be disappointed for this. You know, Toyota does not really um, they don't do you know too much. So everything in their vehicles are functional. So you are going to see the same thing on the inside. So, all right, so we're going to see in it. So let's go ahead and see in here. Um, like I said, this seats about, this is a seven seater configuration. There's a captain seat and two captain seats in the back. Um, so, fire this up. When the engine is fired up, it's actually relatively quiet. So, it looks nice in here. And now we're going to get in the second row seat. I'll show you the this infotainment system um, later on. But let's see the seating arrangement because this is supposed to be, this is a seven seater. So let's see how many adults you can fit in this thing. All right, so the front row seat is set up to where I will sit comfortably. So I'm gonna try and make myself comfortable in this one. And let's see, I think you can find this thing. All right. Okay, so with this here, I think this is actually not bad. So Toyota has given you soft touch materials everywhere. So this is a nice captain seat where you know you can get very very comfortable. And then in the third row seat because that is the what this thing is good for. Okay. So with this. This third row seat is actually um, it's good for for kids. It's not it's not good for adults. That's one thing I'll tell you because it is sitting so low and you have your knee basically almost touching your chest. So I don't think you can actually. Nah, it is good for kids. That's the conclusion on it. So the um, third row seat in the palisade. I can actually sit there for you know a short um, road trip, but for this, I don't know because it is sitting so low and yeah, this is not meant for for um, you know good grown adults. That's my conclusion in this one. But you still get your um, you still get a cup holder, and uh, that's. Actually, it you just get two cup holders here and two cup holders on this side. So I don't see any USB for charging. Oh, you have a vent back here as well. But that's that's just about it. All right. Good. All right. We are in the front row seat of this um, vehicle. I'm gonna show you a few um, texts that Toyota has packed in this thing. Um, to start with. You have that helper screen on there. This is an, uh, I believe it looks like an eight inch helper screen. It's not a full digital display, but you know, that is actually, is um, <clears throat> it's functional to, to, to an extent. And then uh, over here, you have another, yeah, this looks like another eight inch um, infotainment system. So this is a new Toyota infotainment system that they have um, for these generations. So as you can see, it is very, very bright. It is, um, you know, very responsive to the touch and everything works as, as expected. So it is not, um, it's not slow, it's not laggy. You, Toyota still gives you like the <clears throat> AC controls um, on here. You have your, you have this little screen there, and you have the giant knobs for. This is a four-way climate control. All right, like I was saying, um, they have given you this uh, um, nice display right there. So the other believes in like, it's still nice to see that they didn't embed all the controls in the entertainment screen. Um, so 
you can control this on here and it shows your adjustment on the little screens that you know that are on the on the knob themselves so this is a four-way climate control like i mentioned but you have your wireless charging pad right there and uh you have two cup holders and the uh you know a traditional um shifter so when you put it in reverse you have a regular um, backup camera which is um not bad it's quite clear um all right so down here um you have uh, the automatic hold you have a heat descent you have snow you have the traction control and here you have your this um drive mode you have mod and rock and dirt so you can switch this from sports normal or eco these are the drive modes that they are giving you and of course this is uh one of those tiptonic shifters so the manual shifter so uh, toyota has also given you that on here um you have two um usb type c's there you have a regular usb and you have a cigarette lighter um on there um so there's enough storage in this thing uh let's go back to this helper screen over there um so here you have uh different configurations so this shows you um a couple of details as well so you have your um your drive assist on here um of course that shows up on the mirror so you can configure those on this screen as well um the blind spot monitoring rear cross um traffic alert you have the pre-collision warning system like i think in every um toyota that every 2023 toyota has given you all the drive modes all the um, um you know the safety um, features on here so you have your pre-collision um, pre warning you have your fm radio and you know yeah this is um it's pretty nice it's not a um a digital it's not a full digital display but you know they give you this analog and uh the digital thing on the, in the middle so i think this is a very nice um vehicle it's functional you have your light con switch over there your um um fog light control is right there um and then of course the steering wheel is manual telescope and uh you know <clears throat> control so which is which is not bad um you have soft touch well this is plastic you have soft touch on this side so i think is a is a toyota highlander is not meant to be a luxury vehicle but um what it gives you is good enough to like for whatever you we need for a family um you know three-seater suv um that's about it for this vehicle the next thing we're going to do is to go on a drive and the, in this thing and uh, i'll give you my uh, driving impression of this vehicle stay tuned all right guys we're gonna go on a drive on the toyota highlander xse okay like i mentioned this is a 2.4 liter um turbo charged uh, engine so it pushes 266 horsepower so i'm gonna see put that to the test and see how quick this thing on this street if you are gonna be needing more out of this thing i don't think you should need you know more than what this is already giving you it's not a fast suv and they're not claiming um it to be one but you know it does what it should be doing so I'm going to put this in sports just because it has it on it. So let's see what sports mode gives you on here. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know what else you guys are expecting. This, I wasn't expecting anything else, but 
I think it drives nice. It's a comfortable vehicle. I actually do not have much to say on this thing. Let's put it back on Eco, which is probably where you should be driving this vehicle because you have your family in it. Um, this is capable of um, sitting seven people or eight, depending on what configuration you choose. So, if you want to save the most gas, it's going to be on Eco mode. And on Eco mode, your choice also gives you like a very nice um, drive. The suspensions are very good. The outside world, you're insulated, so you're not hearing too much of you know the cars outside. Like I mentioned earlier, this is not claiming to be a luxury vehicle so i think it's actually doing a very good job at you know what it does um it's a smooth driving suv uh you have all the driver assist that you need um you know those come um just based on any model that you get so i think that's a good thing that Toyota is doing on here um so one thing i noticed you don't have a heads-up display i don't know if uh uh, any of the Highlanders does have a heads-up display, but this does not. I think this is, I believe this was the, this is the highest trim level that you can get on a Highlander, the SXD, if I'm not mistaken, unless they have changed that. So, yeah, it is a, it's a nice vehicle. So I was definitely, um, I mean, just take it from their sales in the in North America and the whole world. So the Utahs, these things are moving. They they sell like hotcakes because um, the Toyota reliability that is back that this thing has on it, and it's a seven seater, and Toyota has many many um, SUVs and crossovers for you to choose from. So this just happens to be one of them. I also did mention that there's a Grand Highlander um, version of this thing. So it's basically just a Toyota Highlander that is just um, a little bit stretched um, to give the um, third row occupants more leg room. I did complain that I couldn't fit back there. So I think the Grand Highlander will definitely, um, it will have that covered. Um, <clears throat> I think this is, this is a good, a good vehicle so you know that when you get Toyota um, uh, any Toyota product you are basically you have a, a peace of mind um, you know you do your oil change do your regular maintenance and you can you know use this thing for thousands of miles and I've seen this thing going over two three hundred thousand miles so that's what Toyota gives you uh, it's hard to you know get this um, messed up you really have to like not do any work on it to get these kind of vehicles uh, messed up but honestly I think this is a very good um, family SUV if you're looking for something like this there's also you can, these things they they hold a lot of they hold their values like you know mostly better than other um, vehicles in this category so yeah would I recommend this absolutely uh, if you are not looking for a fast SUV, you just want a nice family hauler, this is the right car for you. Um, it's reliable, it's um, efficient, it's gas efficient. Um, that's, yeah, definitely recommend it. So, once again, I want to say thank you all for tuning in. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this um, channel so that we can keep growing. Have a good day. Peace.